brassicas, a large popular group of cruciferous crops that are pretty simple and straightforward to grow. That is, until they're not. No doubt, these guys can be more temperamental than other plants, which leads many people to give up on them. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Ripe Tomato Farms. Welcome back to another episode of the Garden Quickie, the show where in two minutes or less, giving up is not an option. And today's episode is all about those brassicas. More specifically, three quick planting tips to ensure that you have the most success. Hey, time short as you know it is, so let's dive in. In case you didn't know, common brassica crops such as cauliflower, broccoli, kale, cabbage, and even Brussels sprouts are all the same species. Brassica oleraceae. They're normally considered cool weather crops, which brings us to our first planting tip, and that's timing. Although most of them prefer to grow in direct sunlight, brassicas as a whole don't enjoy the hot weather. And this is especially apparent during fruiting time. Thus, we need to be diligent when planting these crops. Now, they can take upwards of 60 to 100 days to harvest, so always check the variety that you're growing and count forward so that you're harvesting in an optimal window. The second planting tip for brassicas is to always be mulching. Eliminate those weeds and don't give the bugs a place to hide. Lock in that valuable soil moisture and mitigate those extreme temperatures, both the hot and the cold. Straw, shredded leaves, and even grass clippings can make a world of difference. I know I say this for pretty much all plants, but in the world of brassicas, mulching is not optional. And finally, our third brassica planting tip for the day is to give them their space. You see, all too often when young brassicas are planted from transplants like this, they're put way too close together. It may not seem like anything now, but brassicas eventually become large plants. And when they're overcrowded, is when they seem to suffer the most. Space all varieties at least one and a half to two feet from each other and the rows at least three feet apart. Trust me, it's only with this kind of spacing that you're gonna end up with happy brassicas. Even happier though, would be subscribing and checking out the next episode of the Garden Quickie. Thanks for watching guys. And hey, if Garden Quickies are your thing, Make sure to subscribe and click on this playlist here as we explore and solve more growing issues in two minutes or less.